Hi folks, I'm Sergio Diaz. We're at the Long Island Fly Fishing Expo. In today's video, you're gonna see a couple celebrities and anglers with some suggestions on how to fish this spring season. Some of these guys are charters, some of these are anglers. Check it out. Well, I'm Paul from River Bay Outfitters, Paul McCain. I've owned that shop for 10 years now. And about seven years ago, we decided we're gonna work and get a fly fishing expo here on Long Island. Uh, it is an educational uh, venue, that's what we do. Uh, teaching is so important. Uh, we really, really been have very happy, and, and I consider Long Island a fly fisherman's paradise. There's a lot to be said about you can fish salt water, we have freshwater streams, we're hours from the Catskills, which is the history of, of dry fly fishing here in America, and we can catch Pacific salmon only six hours away. We are within everything, and we can get a good piece of pizza at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> That's it fantastic. It is terrific. So Paul, you have a lot of experience fishing. Can you tell people watching this video any tips or suggestions to you know, to improve their chances of catching stripers, bluefish, or any saltwater fish this spring season? I, you know, absolutely. It's just like a golfer goes out there and uh, hits a bucket of balls. You should be out there practicing now. Get the rust off. You know, everybody, I practice all the time, and, and I teach a lot. Uh, and, and if you're just a beginner, the best money you could spend is on a teaching class, on a casting class. Is that something you offer in your shop? I do. I, we offer casting lessons. We also offer, uh, uh, you know, fishing trips. Uh, we also also uh, fly tie-in. We're a full-service fly fishing educational center. We're well, Long great. Island's Long Island's premier fly shop. That's great. Tell us one more time where your shop is. Our shop is 980 Church Street, Baldwin, New York, 11510. And give us, a, give us a call always. We're always talk fishing. 516-415-7748. And your website in case people have computers? Riverbayoutfitters.com. Awesome, my man. All right. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mark Kahneman. I am with Coldwell Banker Timberland Properties. I specialize in real estate up in the Catskill Mountains for fishermen. We locate properties around lakes and rivers for them to fish on. That's great. Uh, so you've been fishing for a long time. You've been fly fishing for a long time, right? Yes. So why would you recommend people, you, uh, or what tips do you have for anglers that are fly fishing, or they're gonna be fly fishing this spring season? What kind of flies, and where, where should they go to improve their odds of catching striped bass, bluefish, and other game fish? Well, I've, all, all, I've always started out in Little Neck Bay in the spring. Uh, the fish migrate there first, and uh, if you can find a spot to get into the water, uh, they love clousers. Uh, they, uh, um, I, I've always done very well with them. And as the spring moves on, we would move east, and we then work Bayville, and then we would work into Cormset State Park, and from there we would head out to Sunken Meadow. That's great. And what kind of flies you said? You like clousers? Love clousers. Love, I used to love, on the spinning rods, we would use sluggos sometimes. What but about colors, Mark? Any colors, colors in the big? Chartreuse, pink, always worked very well for me. That's great. Okay, man, anything else you want to tell these people? <laughs> Get in the water and tight lines to everyone that All right, thanks, Mark. Me. Have a great season. Thank you, you too. So we are here at the Long Island Fly Fishing Expo here in Hop Hog, and, uh, kind of getting ready. This is a great day that uh, Paul and everyone has put together to uh, kind of start us off because I'm starting to hear that we're getting a lot of bait in the back bays and uh, stripers should be here within the next few weeks, maybe a month, but I think with the warm weather we should uh, be seeing fish pretty soon here. So I think if you're looking to get into it, you know, and you can't get here today, come check out you know, rise fishing, check out the rods, see what you need. There's, you know, we have rods for everybody from the introductory rod to the high-end angler who's gonna, you know, he's been doing it for a long time. But, um, you know, get out, check the back bays first, check some of the ocean beaches, because uh, any day now we should start seeing stripers. And uh, what, what company are you with? Uh, what is this Rice Company yeah, Fishing? I am with Rise Fishing Company. We uh, launched in 2012. Wow, so I like 11 years, 12 years been almost. 12 years, actually 2011, Sergio, so. Um, time flies when you're having fun. What's your website? Risefishing.com. And uh, 
Yeah, we have reels, lines, uh, and fly rods. And as I well. believe you have rods from entry level all the way to like really high end stuff, right? We do. We have. We start at in the two hundred dollar range for guys just getting into it, all with a lifetime warranty, and we go up to around eight hundred dollars with our assembled and handcrafted here in the U.S. That's great. And just before I let you go, any flies or tips you have for, you have for folks fishing this spring? You know, it all depends on kind of where you're at. If you're in the back, you're looking at more like clousers, smaller stuff, a lot of crabs. I think people overlook crab flies a lot. Um, if you're on more of the ocean stuff, we have lots of bunker now. So I think throwing the larger bunker flies is definitely the way to go. All right, we'll see you on the water, Steve. See you Thank on the you. water, man. What's the time to different All right. Can you tell us a little about who you are and what you do, please? As always, I'd like to thank Paul McCann, first and foremost, for inviting me to the Fly Fishing Expo. They do a great job. And uh, my name's Tim O'Rourke. I'm a captain in Montauk, Long Island. I've been fishing in Montauk for 35 years, and I've had a fly fishing business since 1996. That's awesome. So, Tim, uh, are there any tips or suggestions or any recommendations you have for fly fishing anglers that, uh, for the spring season? Spring season, as always, the, the inner bays are going to start getting active sooner than the ocean. Um, we're starting to see some ospreys in the area, so we should start seeing some fish within the next two weeks. Um, in regards to Montauk, we're going to start seeing some fish on the south beaches probably the beginning of April. And then we're going to really have a good bite starting the end of May into June. Nice surface bite and uh, some good ocean fishing then. That's great. What are your top three flies that you carry with you during the spring season? I always carry a fly, uh, clouser, a uh, couple deceivers, and for the most part, I'd be using a clouser to imitate a sand eel or a small peanut uh, porgy fish, okay, cool. which any would be early any, June. Any color combinations that you like, or it doesn't matter? Probably around the first of June, I'll move to like a gold-based clouser, and that'll replicate porgies that are coming in to spawn in the bays and estuaries. And it seems to work really well out on the ocean in Monto. Awesome, Tim. Thanks for your time. Anything else you want to say or you're good? I'd like to thank Sergio Diaz for all he does to document all of us fishermen here on Long Island. He does an amazing job, and he's always good for some quality photos and content. Thank you, Sergio. <laughs> all right, Tim. See you soon. See you in the water. <laughs> so, Marcelo, what, do you, what, what kind of flies do you like to tie? I like to tie... Um, Hollow flies, bucktail deceivers, and clousers. Um, what do you recommend people get for spring fishing, fly fishing? Um, I recommend them to get, you know, smaller flies, maybe like a small uh, clouser minnows or like a small uh, candy, surf candy, because, you know, early spring, you're going to see smaller baits do you have a as they start getting big. And do you have a color um, preference or not really? White and chartreuse is my go-to fly. That's a killer, right? Or uh, white and um, olive. That's awesome. And uh, if people want to get your flies, how do they get them? Um, if you they want to buy you, if people want to buy your flies, they how can do they go get to MD them? Flies on Facebook or my Instagram, which is um, Marcelo1990. Yeah, we'll, we'll list that um, address below. Uh, one, can you just grab one of the flies and spring it a little closer to the camera so you can show just extend it out like that so people can see it? There you hold it there for a second. Let me focus on that. Just a little rotation maybe so you can see it. Mm -hmm. Marcelo, so uh, what do you recommend people, do you have any tips and recommendations for people this, this season? Yeah, just fish him low and slow because remember it's still spring and fish are not as active as the warmer temps. And uh, what's your, what areas do you fish? New Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut? I mostly fish New Jersey, but you know, time to time, I'll come up and fish Long Island when I can. All right, that was awesome, dude. That's it. Hey, I'm Jack. I'm fly fisherman on the North Shore of Long Island. I'll go anywhere to catch some fish, and I'm at the uh, Long Island Fishing Expo. I'm Jack. Uh, I mean, um, what uh, advice do you have for fly fishers uh, this spring season, how, how can they improve their chances of catching striped bass, bluefish, and other game fish on the island? Yeah, so in the spring, I feel like the water can be a bit cold, and uh, my whole thing is fishing floating line. I'll fish big streamers on floating line, and floating line keeps the fly high in the column in shallow water where fish may be, and um, prevents it from riding, you know, along the, uh, you know, along the floor. Keeps it right in the column and right in the strike zone. So. 
Couple hard strips and long pauses and those fish will be hot on the fly. So long strips and a pause, is that is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'd say uh, some pr fairly sharp strips and then uh, you know, 10 second pauses is my thing. And what kind of flies do you recommend? Yeah, I'm throwing big bunker flies, waiting for the big baits to come. Um, that said, there's a lot of different small rain bait coming out of the creeks. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And stuff like clousers will work as well, or any small little jiggy fly. And Jack, uh, do you have social media? Where can people follow your, uh, your fishing adventures? Uh, yeah, fairly active on social media. My Instagram is Jack, J-A-C-K dot L-A-R-I-Z. Oh, nice and easy for people to remember, huh? <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we'll add a label with that in here. Um, one more question. Can we see your hat? It looks like you got a couple of flies in that hat. What is that? Show me that hat. What's going on in there? Yeah, Look yeah. at that. Hang on. Let me focus on that. That's awesome. What do you got in there? I got some EP flies. I took a recent trip to the Amazon. So I have a few spent flies here. And um, there's a lot of memories to each one, whether it be an arapaima or a peacock bass. Oh, dude, we got to get together and, and, and talk a little about your, your trip. I just remember that you, you just went to the Amazon. You caught a, how big of a fish was that? <laughs> I caught about a 70 pound arapaima oh and a few uh, 10, 12 pound peacock bass. Did you get smacked in the face, in the chest or anything with I, that? I took, a, I took a hard shot to the ribs by one of them. Oh, wow, that's good, a good paint to have. All right, Jack, thanks a lot for doing this. We'll see you on the water. Yep, tight lines.